So the question was, can we determine whether or not why the officer discharged this weapon, seeing as though there was no weapon found in the vicinity of Mr. Bagley? And to answer that, we still have to finish and conclude this investigation. I think it's premature for us to make that assumption without us conducting all of the interviews and reviewing all of the evidence. Well, the wait for answers continues after Friday's deadly officer involved shooting in Shreveport killed while running from police was 43 year old Alonzo Bagley. The officer now on administrative leave, a young officer named Alexander Tyler, who'd only been in, with the department for a short time. Well, tonight, uh, while we wait for answers to be officially released, we have learned of a new development in the case. Investigators returning to the scene and court records reveal new details about the officers. Let's get some answers to this. KSLA chief investigative reporter Stacy Cameron back with us. You've been doing research. You've been in contact with police and your sources. Let's start with what new you've learned about that 23 year old officer. Yeah, Doug, you know, his time on the force, as you mentioned, it hasn't been long. So today, uh, Alexander Tyler, that officer, I started digging into his history as a right. police officer. The first step, filing a public records request with the state agency that certifies police officers here in Louisiana. I learned Tyler was hired by SPD back in May of 2021. So he's only been on the job less than two years. I also filed this morning a public record request with the city of Shreveport asking for a copy of Tyler's police personnel file, looking to see if there are any internal affair investigations, incidents of misconduct, or any sustained complaints of excessive use of force. We expect to hear back from the city no later than Thursday on those public record requests. And Doug, you mentioned that lawsuit. I discovered a civil lawsuit filed against both Tyler and SPD. A lady alleges that back in July, Tyler was in his squad car and that he was inattentive and ran a stoplight downtown, hit her car. She's now filed suit. That's set to go to trial in September. No word yet whether or not that will end up in his personnel file. Uh, this case serious enough that the the top cop for the state police, the colonel came to Shreveport to deal with this himself. What, what have you learned about that investigation today? We know that today talking to our sources, the investigators, there were four of them yesterday at the press conference off to the side, plain clothes. A number of those investigators went back to the scene today, Villanorte apartments to look and essentially retrace the footsteps of what happened there. So it's likely that they've got new evidence on the crime, looking into that, see if they can start to piece things together. But no word tonight on how far the investigation has developed and if or when charges could be filed and Tyler arrested if it goes that way. And just so everyone realizes, we're not trying to get ahead of investigators, no. but it's, it's certainly our job to continue taking a look at this situation. And until we do get more official word that is released and when that comes out, thank you, Stacy. Uh, you can read more about it, of course. Uh, when it is released here on the KSLA News 12 app, and you can also go back and review all of our reporting up to this point.